The Repair Shop welcomes a very special guest. Jay Blades, TV presenter of The Repair Shop, furniture restorer and all-round good bloke. And now he's the Chancellor of Bucks New University. Wanderers popped down on the day of his investiture for a chat. Jay, welcome to Wanderers TV. Uh, we got something in common. We were formed by people from the chair industry here in High Wycombe, the chair boys. Yeah. And they're connected to you, aren't they? The, the chair boys, the Wickham Wanderers. Are, no, you guys are the chair boys. We're kind of like the real chair boys, if yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> now you kick a ball about, we put bits of wood together, and then we make a chair. Windsor. But we were formed by the lads from the factory. What? When they had the afternoon off, they play football. But listen, there's none of them about now, is there? <laughs> but you guys are still scoring goals, so that's, that's the main thing. But you're looking to create the next proper chair boys, aren't you? I'm not looking. I'm going to create the next chair boys, as far as I'm concerned. I don't wish and hope for anything. I just make it happen. That's the way it's got to be done. Um, so basically what we're doing down here at the university is trying to reignite furniture back into the industry or back into this town because that's what it was renowned for. You had a great such as Urkel G plant, Park and Oll, they was all there. You still got hands down here. Um, but yeah, we need to bring them back. Now you were taught by some of the older chair boys of this town, weren't you? That, well, when I first got into the furniture industry um, and learning about restoration, I then reached out to the community in High Wycombe, spoke to WI groups, Neighbourhood Watch, Age Concern, and asked all the older generation, look, is there anyone there that can teach me and the young people how to restore and revamp old furniture? And um, I was in on day. So yeah, there was loads of them. But it was one nice guy. Now they were all nice. I said that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry. Um, but listen, there was this one guy I remember, he was 92 years old, Ken was his name. Um, wow, bless him. Yeah, he's not with us anymore, but he taught us how to cane a chair. And he'd been in the industry for like, oh, God, blimey, I want to say at least about 40 years. Yeah. Now, a large part of what you want to achieve is, yeah. by, is with the university, a former student at yes. the university. Yes. And you're now the, the governor, the chancellor. I'm the governor. Look, have you seen the robe? Nice, mate. It's proper impressive. And the tiffer. Look at that. I haven't got my flat cap on now, but I've got three stripes that mean I'm the governor. Yeah. So what I says goes. And I'm not trying to achieve anything. Um, you keep on using those kind of words. I'm going to do it, mate. You know what I mean? I'm here. It's the first ever chance that. And um, yeah, we're going to make some changes. Uh, I changed my career in my 30s. So you're quite an inspiration for me. And that's a Thank big you. message of what, what you can do as well with university too. Yeah, I've changed my career like a few times. I changed it when I was 30. Um, and then I changed it again when I was 45, no, 46 started being on TV and all that and you never know I might change it again I, don't, I might start doing no I've done a bit of dancing what could I do differently ceramics I might start becoming a potter or something like that you know what I mean you might see me on one of them programs where you throw down the pot and then you make something so you can always start something whenever you know what I mean there's no time like oh I'm too old for that no you're never too old you can do it anytime now, we had a famous player called Adebay Wakim Fenwell. They told him he was too big to play football. His mantra was never be defined by your circumstances. And I think that rings true to you as well, doesn't it? I do like that. Say that one again. What did he say? Never be defined by your circumstances. Wow. That's nice, isn't it? And if I was defined by my circumstances, I wouldn't be standing there in this robe, lovely robe, I should say. I wouldn't be on TV. I wouldn't have got a 2-1 at university. It's like, yeah, you can't be. Yeah. Wow, that's a big statement. I'm going to have to take that. That's we'll, nice. We'll hook you up with Bale. I think you might get on. <laughs> I'm going I'm, I'm to work it out. Is he still a big lad? He's a big lad. You don't argue with him. All right. I, I, I won't use it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight. <laughs> but you're also about helping younger people as well, aren't you? Right. So, And this is what this is all about too. Yeah. For me, younger people, and it's just a case of like, how can you explain it? They're the future. They're going to be here when I'm pushing up Daisy. So at the end of the day, it's my duty and everybody's duty really to start implementing stuff for them to make it a bit easier. You know what I mean? Let's lay the foundation. Let's make it nice and easy for them because really with the current climate now, it's a bit tough for everybody and especially the young ones. You know what I mean? They've got this TikTok, they've got Instagram kind of lifestyle. It's not as easy as that. Some of us old timers, we know you've got to work a bit. You know what I mean? No one becomes an Instagram influencer overnight and then you start earning millions of pounds but so many young people believe that's the way it is but we need to show them the right way. But what you do with repair shop and furniture that's real life isn't it that isn't online? No 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 that is real life but a lot of people if you look at the repair shop for instance um, all of those are experts now some people might look at that and think oh I could never get to that level but all of those experts started somewhere some of them might have started like 10 years ago and then they've just worked and worked and worked and then they've become at the top of their game some of them had it for like 40 years and whatever but the reality is you have to start somewhere you know what I mean so that's what the repair shop's showing really but some people just see it as they're experts and I can never achieve that everybody can 
You're back here in the community in High Wycombe. Yes, Chancellor of the Bucks New University. Come on. Big part of the community. Listen, we, we're going to be a community university standard. And what we ain't doing, I don't think needs to be done. So we're going to hold us to this. If we ain't doing it right, let us know and then we'll put it right. That's what it's all about. Well, along with the university, Wickham Wanderers puts this town on the map as well. Yes. You're always welcome at Adams Park, Jay. Oh, thank you. And we've got a little present for you to make you feel at home when you do come and see us. What, a plastic bag? Yeah, you can oh, have the bag like as well. You can keep that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, quality. Oh, you're taking a mickey. It's got my name on the back. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look, look, look. Oh, look, look, look. I, 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 didn't, I didn't drop it. I didn't drop it. Come on. Hey? Come on. That is quality. I've got my own neck. Jesus, you've got the fur up on the back of my neck. I've never had a shirt with my name on the back. So you're a real chair boy, and now you're a proper chair boy, one of us. Oh, thank you. No, that's nice, man. <laughs> no, nice. Um, thank you. Thank you. I was about to swear there. I can't swear. I'm not like Mum's watching, isn't she? <laughs> I should wear it back to the front because that's like it's got me name. At the, no, you don't wear them back to the front, do you? No, I don't do football that often. You know what I mean? So, sorry about that. So I can have this on the back. That's quality, man. Wow. Thank Jay, you. come and see us at Adams Park. It's I been a real be. pleasure, mate. Thank you. <laughs>